Hello everyone. We are discussing about the commutation. Okay. In the last session, we discussed about the ideal commutation. What is the ideal commutation? The current reversal will be within the commutation period. It is known as the ideal commutation. Okay. That means exact in 2 millisecond. The current reversal means what? What is the meaning of current reversal? It will change for example plus IC to minus IC. That means commutation commutator current plus IC to minus IC within exact 2 millisecond then it is called as ideal commutation. In this next over commutation. So what is the meaning of the over commutation? If the current reversal takes place before the commutation period. So for example so in order to understand this I will give the another, another analysis that is so we have the things are like this this is plus IC and we have the minus IC and this is known as the this is known as the commutation period TC and so generally so up to now so how the commutation is the current reversal will be just observe here just initially we have current up to position 1 the current is positive current is positive after that it will become very speed that means to change the minus IC it will a, this is the position 1 this is the position 2 this is the position 3 but it will be speed commutation that means it is before it will reach the minus IC okay so generally it should be the commutation period but before that it will reach okay current reversal will be taken here current reversal will be taken current reversal time is less than our commutation time so this is called as over commutation or the fast commutation understand fast commutation basically it is at position 1 and it will position 2 it will reach 0 and it will reach the position 3 but these all will be shifted this all will be shifted this is called as the over commutation or fast commutation okay next under commutation or delayed commutation next under our delayed commutation just observe here this, this is different phenomena different scenario if the time required for the current reversal more than the commutation period if it is higher than the commutation period then it is said to be under or delayed or slow commutation under or delayed or slow commutation so for this so I will explain the example the example is like this same thing just understand this again you should draw it so we have we have two things one is this is so this is the position of for example plus IC and this is the position of the minus IC okay so it is the changing position time it is also changing position time so what happened so up to position 1 the current reversal will be like this current will be like this but what is the meaning of over commutation at second that means it will cross it and it must and should be it will be reach at this point but it will take more time it will be like this it will be like this initially it is plus IC and it will take more time to reach the 0 and it will take more time to reach the minus IC so from plus IC to minus IC the commutation period is more so to current reversal here name itself to current reversal current reversal time is greater than 
commutation time then it is called as over commutation or delayed commutation or slow commutation over commutation delay it will take more time generally it will be this will be the commutation period but actual time actual time is this that's why it will take more time or delayed or slow commutation practically the commutation so this is the understanding so once again we will look at this this is the ideal commutation both will be same this is the over commutation it will take more time and under our delayed commutation is this is okay so we look at the points practically the commutation will always under our delayed commutation so if you take practical way this is the commutation that's why it is very important reasons for under delayed commutation is why it is possible why under our delayed commutation first is the reactance voltage second is the cross magnetization of armature reaction two things are the reasons for a delayed magnet uh, delayed commutation is two reasons first is the reactance voltage second is the cross magnetization effect of the armature reaction so in that first is the reactance voltage the first is the reactance voltage name itself the reactance it has a reactance drop and it has the voltage so to understand the reactance voltage we have to look at the one diagram so in this diagram just what is the reactance voltage first generally if you look at the armature armature coils are inductor coils inductor means so it will made with the coil the inductor inductor means it consisting of the reactants so it has some reactants wherever the reactants automatic reactants have some drop that is known as the reactants drop a reactance voltage that is nothing but the er we can name it as the er okay so during the commutation process commutation process is whenever going on the current is changing from plus ic to minus ic due to which is a statically induced emf is induced a statically emf is induced just look at here for example this is the brush so in this brush we have some current the current will be for example the current will be flows like this for example the commutation current is like this so how the commutation current for example we are sending some current the current will be flows like this and it will go to is and after that maybe that current will be like this whenever this current will be flowing through this what is this current current is generally it will be changing plus ic to minus ic that means time changing current that means we can name it as the ac current whenever the ac current is flowing through the inductor the emf is induced in the inductor that is induced as reactance voltage emf is induced which is called the reactance voltage why it is reactance it is induces across the reactance this reactance voltage opposes the current reversal according to the lenz law so what happen you, you, what is the meaning of lenz law lenz law said effect oppose the cause effect oppose cause generally what is the effect here emf induced is effect cause is current reversal cause is the current reversal this is the cause so this effect opposes the cause due to the lenz law so that's why the current so it opposes means changing from plus ic to minus ic will take the more time will take the more time here that is the thing so thereby cause under our delayed commutation due to that under our delayed commutation okay so the reason very very important reason generally any coil is changing from 
plus IC to minus IC. Plus IC to minus IC means what happen? What is the thing happen? This will be like this. This will be like this means it has positive magnitude as well as negative magnitude. Whenever the positive magnitude and negative magnitude is across only the one coil, then automatically statically induced EMF is produced. Then the statical EMF is produces and due to the statical EMF induces due, due to the lens law what happened that it opposes it opposes the current reversal it opposes the current reversal so due to that the delay the commutation process will be commutation process will be slow slow process process is slow process then that is called as the then due to that we are getting the delayed commutation delayed commutation so thereby under our delayed commutation is possible due to that okay so this is about the this is about different types of commutation and the reasons for the commutation in that we discussed about the first commutation first reason is reactance voltage okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you